You really think I can help Stephen? Yeah, I know you can. But everyone's told me to stay away from him, even you. I've been thinking about what I've said a lot about that lately, and I just... Tess, the bottom line is, is I believe in miracles. I've seen proof of them. Miracles? I just don't... I just don't think that there's not a way out for people like Stephen and my mother. I don't believe that their souls are lost forever, you I, know? I don't believe that either. I know you don't. And I know that you're a healer. And you've performed miracles yourself. And you did that last night. I mean, you did the impossible. You got Caleb to call off all of the vampires. You have some sort of special bond with him, some sort of special connection that nobody else has. You can get through to him. It's because I can see the good inside him. It's, it's there and it wants to come out. Yeah, I, I think that it does too. And if you really try hard, I think that you can change Caleb's heart forever and make sure that he doesn't hurt another person ever again. Thank you. For what? For believing in me in the way you do. No one else has done that. Nobody? I mean, Jack doesn't believe in No, I mean, Jack, Jack loves me, and I know that, but he doesn't understand. It's not just what I want to do. It, it's what I have to do. Right, it's what you have to because do. Because when I see some one in, in pain and in so much pain it hurts me too and Stephen he has more pain than anyone more hurt than anyone he needs me right then I think that you should go and heal him okay okay I hope you can heal us all Where's Stephen? I'm, I'm here to see Stephen. Well, Stephen's not here. Therefore, I'm afraid it's just you and me. Ah, uh, come back You're later. You're frightened of me, aren't you? I mean, I can understand that. But there's no reason to be. I'm, I'm not going to hurt you. You tried to kill me and Livy, you pushed us into the river. I'm really sorry about that. No, I really am. I was having an unbelievably bad day, and I made a mistake, and I... I regret it. But you're so good and you're so pure, you... You haven't told anyone, particularly Stephen. And I know that you're gonna find it in your heart to forgive me. You're not sorry, I don't believe you. Tess. You're bad. You're very bad. Bad man, I don't believe a word you're saying. I just want you to listen to me. I'm trying to explain to you that I was wrong. I don't want you to stay away from Stephen. On the contrary, I think you're exactly what he deserves. I don't have to talk to you. No, Get you don't have to talk to me, but you have to listen to me. Listen to what I have to say. Jack. Get your hands off of her. God, it's me. Yes, my dear, it's me. I'm back. Can Ooh. you please take me home? Yeah. Yes, and like me. Let's go, we're going. Please. Yeah, yeah. We all have to get out of here. Can you give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you right now? Is that any way to greet an old friend? Threatening to kill him? You were never a friend, Joshua. You're an employee. So I ask you again. What did you say to send Tess screaming into the night? I was simply trying to explain to her that I had misjudged her. You're scrambling, Joshua. Not a very attractive quality for a vampire. How do you know? I sensed you the moment I walked in. It was Elizabeth, wasn't it? Allison and Rafe were getting too close to the truth about the little prank that we played on them. You let a slayer go on the trip, and you didn't even know it. I thought I'd taken care of the problem before we left. Well, obviously, since he's still walking around, you didn't. I was trying to convince Allison to tell me the truth. Elizabeth misunderstood the situation. I'm sure you can imagine the rest. <laughs> Eternal life is too good for you. Elizabeth should have drained you and tossed you away. What's 
What's that? Apparently it's the answer to all your problems. Go on. Use it. Do what you need to do to me. If I decide to kill you, Joshua, I won't need a prop. Although it was an all very dramatic gesture and all. But you must have known I wouldn't take you up on it. I was deadly serious. No killing today. But don't disappoint me again. And here I thought my absence might perhaps make your heart grow fonder. I guess in some ways you were missed. The band's become rather unruly since you left. I think I've gone soft. I think Newborn Heart is a brilliant song. I think it's one of your best. I wrote it for her. It has? I need Tess to trust me. To believe that I've changed. So this really is about bringing Olivia back. You can never take your eye off the prize, Joshua. Forcing Tess isn't going to work. It'd just be killing her softly. Brilliant move. Using Tess's goodness against her. Thank you. So that charade in the woods that was just... Calling out the vampires? Uh, to tell the truth, I was almost pissed enough to go through with it. But you didn't follow your original instinct, did you? You would have. We'll never know. No, we won't. Actually, I have Tess exactly where I want her. She thinks she, she's changed me. That somehow she's warmed my cold heart. Then why don't you just pull Olivia out of Tess and be done with it? This task requires subtlety, finesse. Tess is fragile, her heart unprotected. It could be easily damaged. Are you sure it's Olivia that you want and not Tess? I was born to love Olivia. She's in my blood. Tess is just along for the ride, a means to an end. And perhaps I can help you now that I am stronger. <laughs> Make no mistake, just because you're one of us now doesn't make you equal. I don't need your help. I'm aware of my position. And never forget, I can end this for you at any time. soft, Caleb. You think you know me? You have no idea. By the time you find out, it'll be way too late.